Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you know by reading the title, today I'm going to be refurbishing or redoing a stool that I actually got from my grandfather that he found, I think, on the side of the street or something like that. <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video but it has so much potential because it's made out of cedar wood and if you do not know what that is or like what type of wood or anything like that it's a really good word that um, mouse and bugs don't like so nothing um, can get in I took before pictures so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on the screen somewhere where you can see what kind of looks like it has this weird green kind of texture on it that looks super 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 weird and disgusting and totally does not match the aesthetic of my room so my plan for this is to reupholster the top for this boho kind of chic look and I'm going to be painting around it white and the feet gold. So far I have bought a lot of the stuff to do it so I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you a little haul and show you what I've bought. I already have stripped the paint from it and I already have filled in the cracks. I took videos so I'm going to go ahead and insert them right now. So as you can see with the paint stripper, it's all lifting up and cracking. And the paint stripper that I used was a solvable paint and varnish stripper that removes multiple layers with the easy lift formula. Now on this bottle, it said that I only had to leave it on for five minutes, but in fact, I had to leave it on for an hour and a half so the paint couldn't come off nice and smoothly as it's coming off right now in the video. For the stripping part of this total, for the grand total, with the paint stripper, a foam paintbrush that I used to apply the stripper, and the scraper, on all total it cost $34.70 in Canadian dollars. A little tip that I would advise for anyone that's stripping wood and if you do not want to damage the wood, do not press hard on the scraper or else you will scratch it and you will be able to see if you paint it or if you just leave it and give it a nice varnish. And as you can see in the videos, it is super, super satisfying when I peel off the paint because I left it on for so long um, and it's very easy to come off. So now I'm just applying some of the stripper onto the base and wiping it around with a cloth so then I can make sure I get all of the paint off and I went in with some steel wool to get in the cracks and crevices. Doing the sides and the feet were really hard because with the scraper I couldn't get into the little cracks and crevices. So after when if you paint it just go over with some sanding paper and then you can get everything off. I'm going to give you the grand total that I spent on this little project. I am trying to do it in a budget because I don't want to go ahead and spend so much money where I literally could have bought just a new one, but it is actually super fun to refurbish something yourself. Now to reupholster the top, I went to Fabricland, and Fabricland is basically a store with a whole bunch of fabric and yarn and buttons and literally every fabric you could think of. I went into the store looking for fabric that is kind of 3D, maybe some tassels on it because I really wanted that boho style, but sadly they never had anything like that, but I did find this super cute fabric. This is the fabric that I chose. I wanted to get white but everything in my room is really white and I didn't want it to clash and I didn't want it to be like looks like I'm in a sane asylum so I thought I would get this cream color and since I'm painting the base of it white as you can see it has this 3d design on it that's super cute I got one meter of this and the total was 2712 so again, at the end of the video, I'm going to add all of this up and I'm going to tell you what the grand total was. 
I went to Home Depot and I got all the stuff like paint, paintbrushes, rollers, and all that fun stuff. The guy had suggested that I use a primer because if I do not use a primer, then the paint will start to bleed into the cedar and it will not look good. So we got this Kilts Restoration um, Primer. This can go on cedar, I think literally anything. And then to go along with it, I just got a quart of my paint because I'm only painting the sides. Um, that's all I'm painting, so I don't need very much paint. And I got this in the color Simply White. And I don't know if you can see, but it's right there. It's like a creamy white. To go along with that, I bought some mini rollers so I can really roll it and give it a nice a smooth finish. And then I went ahead and bought some gold spray paint to spray paint the feet. I'm actually editing right now and I totally forgot to add in the total. With the rollers, the paint, and the spray paint, it came to a grand total $71.11 Canadian. Here are some of the images of the stool after I stripped all the paint off. And as you can see, the cedar is absolutely beautiful. And you can still see some paint on the feet in front. But I'm just going to be painting over it and sanding it down so it doesn't matter anyways. But it's absolutely gorgeous. So the design on the front was super cute, but it does not match the aesthetic that I was going for for the bench and it doesn't match my room. So I went ahead and put some filler in that you use to like cover holes in your walls um, and I just filled it in. You can of course use wood filler, but I didn't have any in the moment and this does the exact same thing. This did not cost anything because I already had this in my household. And just a little tip is when you are doing this, make sure that you don't scratch and damage the wood um, if of course if you are painting over it it still matters just in case one day you want to strip it again and see the natural wood also if you see in the video how i'm getting every little access of putty once you go ahead and sand it down later on when it's all dry it is so easy to sand off because it's such a thin layer but if you go ahead and leave such a thick layer then it's going to be super super hard So as you can see, I'm starting to sand it and also sorry for my messy garage doing this project. I had to move a lot of stuff. Um, but anyways, I was using a little sanding tool so I make sure that my sanding was even and I wasn't digging down into the part that I filled. Also, when you are using different kinds of sandpaper, I would advise you to use not such a rough sandpaper so then you do not end up damaging the wood and also this stuff is super easy to sand off so you wouldn't need a hard sandpaper anyways. Okay guys, so I got a spot where I can spray paint the legs gold right here, but I don't want to spray paint the wood right here. So what I'm going to end up doing is getting the paper and just putting it here and some uh, paint tape so it won't pull off um, any of the finish on here. Looking back at this now, I realized that I have should have um, used newspaper and not nice white new paper so this is just a heads up next time if you have any grocery bags or newspaper it's better to use that to recycle um, because this is a waste of trees and a waste of paper. So this is after what it looks like with the tape and paper. So I didn't make sure that I did the bottom because it had a super cool made in Canada sticker that I of course did not want to ruin. So um, 
Um, I'm now applying the primer and I actually used a normal paintbrush to get into the crevices and on the handles and then after I ran in with the roller to apply the primer and the actual paint of the box that I wanted to paint it. I ended up doing one coat of the primer and two coats of the actual paint and I have a lot of paint and primer left over. So I finished painting but I did not want to show you the finished product because I wanted to wait until the end um, so you can see it really come together. But to reupholster the top, I went ahead to Walmart and bought this foam. The total of it was $40.63 Canadian. But then again, that is expensive, but it was way cheaper than everywhere else. And also, I only used a very, very small portion of this foam. So I have a whole bunch of other foam to use for other projects that I may do. The foam was four inches thick, so it made the stool very, very cushiony, and I'm actually very glad because I have no problem sitting on it now. So as you can see, I went ahead and the foam on, on the top of the stool where the lid is. I went ahead and sprayed it with adhesive spray. And now I have laid the batting down, and then on the bottom is a fabric that I'm, that I'm going to be reupholstering it with. Okay guys, so I am done the bench. I'm going to show you in a second the big reveal, but I just wanted to go ahead and tell you the grand total and everything that I use and all that fun stuff. I went ahead and collected all of my receipts from this little project that I did. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of run down through what I use and all that stuff and then the grand total. I have my little notebook and I wrote everything down. So the things that I use. The bench. It was for free. My grandfather found it on the side of the road. The stripper, the foam um, paintbrush, the scraper that I used, the bare paint, the kilts primer, spray paint, the rollers, the fabric, the adhesive, adhesive spray, the batting, and the foam. And all together, it cost $196.47 in Canadian. Now, again, that may seem like a lot, but if you go ahead and look online, um, and you have to make sure that you're in Canadian dollars, because again, this is not US, this is not anything else, this is Canadian dollars, so it is more expensive than US. Go and look on online and websites. These stools are actually so, so, so expensive that if I were to buy one, I would be paying around 500 to over a grand for one best part about it is I customize it the way that I want and how it fit my room. The best part is all of these products I have left over for the spray paint, from the foam, from the adhesive spray, from the batting. I have all of this stuff left over that I can use for other projects and especially the paint. I only used a quarter of each of the quarts of the primer and the paint that I got so now I can go use it on other projects. Now the reveal!